Sometimes a weird pepper just brings out the weird in us. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Taste the Pain. Today we are looking at the Bishop's Hat Pepper, which I have put googly eyes on and made into funny little faces with big noses. Because these are a really cool pepper. They're very, very similar. Some say the same as the Yuba Tuba that I reviewed last year on the Alpha Beta Heat. I've also heard these are hotter than those. They have a little bit of spice. These are also very similar to the Mad Hatter, Bishop's Crown, um, a couple others, I think, that are all this same kind of weird three-legged octopus squid shape that has a little bit of a, a bell and a bonnet happening here. But man, these are goofy looking. I will say this plant has been one of my absolute favorites this year just by how loaded up it became with pods and then watching them ripen. They went through a really pretty color change from green to kind of orange and purpley a little bit in there to this beautiful red color. I love this plant. I really hope these taste good. I've got a whole bunch more already growing on the plant. I can't wait. I harvested maybe a half a dozen of these just the other day so that I can come in and taste them. Then I looked at them and started putting googly eyes on them and now they're kind of like cool little buddies. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. weird. So I'm excited to cut one of these open, see what it looks like inside, give it a taste. I have a feeling it'll be delicious if it is anything like the Uba Tuba. All right, we're going to go right down the middle. Ish. <laughs> what a funky little pod. Um, I kind of want to cut that half and half too and see what's... Trilobed. Trilobed is the word I've been looking for medium walls quite a bit of seeds along that center rib there bishop's hat it's time to taste the pain mm. okay tiny tiny bit of heat so far very sweet flavor though very very sweet not as sweet as the uba tubas that i grew last year so that right there different flavor different level of sweetness and a little bit more heat than those had. Very mild though, very, very mild heat. Um, I can just kind of tell on the back of my tongue a little bit that there's some spice there. Very flat, not a sharp burn. The, the flavor is pretty sweet in like a, I keep going back to this this year, but an apple skin sort of flavor at first. Um, tiny little bit of that bubblegum sweetness that I believe I got off of the Yuba Tuba last year, um, but not as prominent, right? So it is a little bit bubblegum flavored, try this lobe here. It's a little bit sweeter on the lobe actually than that middle. So maybe the bitterness of the membrane and the seed was messing with me, but that lobe is very, very sweet. It really is just like biting into a red delicious apple. The more you chew, you get a tiny little bit of that bubble yum, bubble gum kind of flavor. Very good pepper, approachable, easy to put in salads, salsas, just eat fresh. Um, you know, my 10 year old son could handle this heat no problem. It's just there so that you notice it. it. Reminds me, it's like the heat level of if you eat like a spicy nacho Doritos, right? You know they're spicy, but it doesn't actually hurt. It's just very enjoyable. And there's no Dorito flavor and my fingers aren't all orange, so. Bishop's hat, better than spicy Doritos. You heard it here first. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this one up. Just remember, be kind to your little guys when they have googly eyes. I didn't cut these guys in half. I did that to one of my other peppers this year and I just, I still feel bad about it. I've got a new series, Adventures in Ahi Land, that just kicked off. So make sure you catch that too. Remember, plants help us grow. Peace.